Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. I'm back. I took a nap. I feel a little better, but I'm medicated. I'm medicated so I could, you know, slang these cards. Did y'all hear that noise? I heard something go. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Guys, let me tell you, this cold thing or whatever, every day is a different symptom. Every day. First day, I was knocked on my ass. Second day, on my ass. Third day, hot, sweaty. Today, sweaty, cold, with the chills. Can't sleep. Head feels like it's this big. Right now, it feels like it's this big, so I'm going to go with it. I feel a little off, but we're here. We got the Holy Grail and Trials and Tribulations, 3 through 10, <laughs> my additional decks. Anybody, can I, can I hire somebody to make these decks for me? <coughs> okay, guys, let's get it. This is somebody's mess. Not necessarily mess, but you know. Guys, you're choosing the wrong person, so be careful. If it's not you, it's somebody. Somebody could have chose the wrong person, right? You just did. You just did, and it's okay. Just be careful. Know who you're choosing. Know why. Dig a little deeper. If you have to, do some background checks. I ain't playing. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Woo! Did you choose a joke? Like Parker Brothers? You chose the wrong person. You 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 chose a game. You chose you chose Monopoly. You chose a joke. You chose the wrong person. Holy Spirit, what else we got for the collective, right? Ah, friends with benefits. So you could be dating somebody who has a connection with someone else where they're friends with benefits. And this particular cow know about you and they don't care so two things are happening here you're getting disrespected twice right first you're getting disrespected by your man or your woman because your man or your woman has another person that knows about you and they allow that to happen and they don't give a fuck right so you getting yeah you're getting spanked twice so choose be careful this person's a joke because they fucking with somebody i'm gonna say it they messing with somebody and that somebody knows you exist so it's disrespect. It's disrespect from your man or your woman. And it's disrespect from Betty. Either Betty or Benadryl or whatever Brent. They don't give a F. Now see that right there, when they know about you and don't care, that's disrespect. And then that's... Uh, rain, rain. But handle your person first. Handle your person. Handle your person and then slide them and tell them they can go over there with Betty Boo and Brent, right? So basically, guys, the person with the friends with benefits, they're jealous of you. They've probably been around you for a very long time and then they saw you change your life. So now they're jealous. So instead of coming up to your level, they get somebody else to play with in between, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with this person because you're so great. So while you're so great, I'm going to have a pity party over here. I'm going to pity party with somebody else, right? They jealous of you because you did it. And this person is full of regrets because they know they effing up. They know they effing up right now. They know they effing up with this friends with benefits shit. They know they effing up. See? I need to take more medication. <laughs> Somebody, Somebody's messing up. This spirit, where are we going with this? I don't even know where I'm going with this. Where are we going with this? I want Karmic Tales too. Guys, I have to go over here and dig into the cut. Just hold up. Hold down the fort. Don't let nobody in unless they knock twice. Just hold down the fort, guys, while I find my Karmic Tales too. You know what? I'm going to come over here with it. Because I don't want y'all to think, you know, that I don't love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all probably thinking, she ain't got nothing down on that floor. I do. I do. I do all that mad stuff. Guys, we're going to make this person confess a little bit. Dog, player, I get it. Player, I get it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the collective, guys, you're choosing the wrong person, and this person is a joke, right? And you probably thought this anyway. You're probably like, ah, you're a joke, right? So they have an issue with somebody 
you may be a tarot reader. If not, maybe you don't need to see a tarot reader or maybe you need to listen to your tarot reader. Me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, right? Listen to me. You're choosing the wrong person. I'm your tell reader. I'm your tell reader. I'm telling you, you're choosing the wrong person. So whoever you effing with right now, off with their heads, right? Somebody's doing background checks. Or maybe spirit is trying to tell you. Maybe spirit is trying to warn you. Maybe spirit is trying to tell you that you should do some background checks. Right? Since you're choosing the wrong person, maybe spirit is trying to tell you through me <laughs> that you need to do some research. Right? Do some research. Holy Spirit, what else is going on? Okay. So their friends with benefits is either somebody that they're married to. They could be married separated. So that's the friends with benefits. So they still F in their spouse. They may be separated or something like that or not together because see, this person wants marriage counseling. So in order for you to have marriage counseling, you're still together. So they may not be living together. This person has a husband or a wife, but the husband or a wife is now in turn the friends with benefits, right? Because they don't want to let that thing go and they're trying to save that marriage. So basically they're like, I'm going to F you, F you, and F you until we're not F no more, right? Mmm, 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 mmm. They checking their bank records too. I guess they doing comparison. They saw your life change. They jealous. They checking their bank records. I don't know. Maybe they checking your bank records. I don't know. Oh yeah. There's a there's a private detective on that ass. Somebody's doing investigation. Somebody's trying to. Maybe they doing background checks on you, or maybe spirit is telling you to get a private detective. Somebody's in your shit though. Somebody's in your shit, and I think it's. The ex-wife, the ex-who, or the soon-to-be ex, somebody who's trying to save their marriage. So they trying to see who you are. They're a little jealous. They're a little mad. <laughs> You're going to be mad for a minute. You're going to be mad for a minute. Right? Right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who are you dealing with collective other than this joke? Right? Holy Spirit. When you're aggressive towards me, it pushes me away. So I don't know if you pushed up on this person, but they say, oh, it pushed me away. It didn't really push them away. They have an ex-spouse <laughs> that they can twirl from time to time. Let's just say what it is. They say you're the chosen one, blah, blah, blah. They feel chosen by you. Um, this person is full of regret. They didn't know what to do. Uh, they said they would see you here and there, blah, blah, blah. They didn't know what to do. Screw your spouse. That's what you do. Right? You made a significant impact on my life. So you changed this person and you helped them see things from a different point of view, you know? And that's probably why they're not checking for their husband or their wife anymore. This person said, I've cried for you. I've prayed for you. I feel you deeply more than you'll know, more than I can explain. Guys, I wrote this shit. Where the hell was my head at? Who, who does this? I've cried for you. I've prayed for you. I feel you deep more than you'll know, more than I can explain. Guys, let me tell you, I made these cards some like a year or two years ago. And then usually when I write them, I just write them in books. Like I, was, I have books right there. I just write, 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 write. And then it just comes out. It's almost like it's a story. And then when, when, it, when it comes out and then I see it again, I be like, well, damn, I wrote that. Look, this is somebody. I cried for you. I prayed for you. Right, guys? Look. I cry for you. I pray for you. I feel you deeply more than you'll know, more than I can explain. The hell? So this person is full of regret. Oh, full of regret. Guys, I haven't pulled one tarot yet. I don't even know where to go with it. Where to put it? Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. Let's get some tarot on this. Let's use this deck since it's here. This is an interesting reading. Guys, I know some of you, y'all like my short readings. Guess what? I like my short readings too. Because I like to, to me, Tarot is, the story is real quick, right? Something happens, something in the middle, and then there's an ending, right? But the more cards you pull, if you just keep pulling cards, like, for the women, like, I've done it before. Like, there's a 30-minute reading, 40-minute, 50-minute reading. Those readings come about when it's really, really good, and I'm nosy, and I just continue to dig. Or... I just want to know more. 
But usually I stop because if not, I'll be digging forever. And to me, if it resonates with you in the first five, six minutes, get a personal and then I can tap into that shit and finish it for you. But I'm not going to give you 30 and 45 minute reads. Like I just, I don't have it in me. I, I, unless it's really good. Like this one here is good and it's coming up on 10 minutes. Actually, it's past 10 minutes. Let me go. Right? It's past 10. You're the star. You're the star of the show, right? And this King of Cups don't know what to do with you. They're not happy where they're at. They're actually, it looks like they're ending a marriage for something new. It's like they want to move on. This person has a lot of regrets, guys, but I don't, they have a lot of regrets. Mm -hmm, they should. Too many secrets. Uh, so now it looks like they're trying to get out of their marriage. The Hierophant here <coughs> in reverse. Yeah, there's no stability there. They lost the stability. But they know. They have a lot of regret. They know they hurt you. They know they they, they just dogged you out. They did. They did. They did. Uh-huh. They did. But see, now they want this, this new beginning with you. This Ace of Pentacles with you. They can see life with you. They can see, you know, everything. Everything. You're the Princess of Wands. You that B. Right? You that B. You that Sir. Whatever. And they feel like they wasted a lot of time. They feel like they wasted a lot of your time. This person loves you. Either that or they still have that other lover. Because they do have a lover. They could have a choice between two. Either that or they can see themselves marrying you. They're taking a good look at the situation. They're up in their head because somebody's really, really pissed. Somebody does not want this person to move on. So they said, look, I'll always be your friends with benefits. I'll always, you know, and that's tough too. Because if you got a man or a woman saying, I'm always here for you whenever you want it, whenever you need it, that means they'll always cheat on you. Somebody wants balance, but it's just a lot of injustice. There's not going to be any imbalance there. This person wants, it looks like they want a ten of pentacles with someone else. But they're not making any moves. Either that or this woman or this man is trying to save their ten of pentacles. And they're trying to prevent this person from moving. Like, look. But they're like, look. They're taking all their love back. Somebody wants this emotional fulfillment. But they play too many games. They want this victory with you. It's the princess of cups and the princess of cups. Right there. This person could be recently divorced. That king of pentacles there. Yep. And there's the ending right there. Death card. Look at this. Look at this death card. Y'all see that? Look mad as hell, crazy. And then right here, what do we have, guys? The world. World card in reverse. So it's over. And they're moving on in the eight of wands. Somebody's moving on fast. The only thing is, guys, you chose the wrong person. Be careful. Because they're still screwing their spouse. Because their spouse wants a marriage counselor. So the spouse who's getting left is allowing this person... To be with you and still be with them because they want this person. Whatever. Y'all get it. Y'all was here. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Oh, don't forget, if you are a Pisces, guys, I read directly for the Pisces under the Pisces channel. That information is down below, too. So swing on over there. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Come on over and carry me home. Peace.